I really hope that I can manhandle this thing into my garage. Fingers crossed, gloves crossed. It's hard, these gloves are thick. On yesterday's ride, I didn't mention too much to you guys with the sled, other than I went through a belt. Now I did end up putting the belt cover back on, but as you can see, I got the side covers off, I got the hood up, I have my trike frame holding up the snowmobile so that the track's off the ground. This was going towards a build that I never got to. I started it about a year and a half ago, but then life changed and I ran out of an aluminum welder. I also have this side cover off. Now last night when I was riding, this side handlebar was warm. The hand warmer worked. This one on the other hand did not work, so I wanna figure that out. So I was just checking some stuff out. The brake pads on this are really good. But I was looking at this, that connection is not the best. I swore I saw a spark, so it might have come from this, but it also might have come from the rotor or something along these lines. But I'm kind of pushing more towards at this. It's also missing a nut here to hold the battery tight. So the battery box is missing a nut. I want to change the gear oil. I need to buy a good two-stroke oil. I want to make sure she runs like a top, works like a top, everything is good and where it's supposed to be. We don't have sparks flying around. We don't have a numb left hand. You don't want to get in your car one day and just not make it to work or not make it to school. You want that thing to work. And you don't want that feeling in the back of your mind saying, hey, is, is this gonna quit on me today? That's what I'm going through with this thing because I don't want to get stranded out in the cold. That's no good. That is not froggy fresh. So it doesn't look like it's a huge issue. They just put this bolt in sideways. So the threads are a little screwed up. I'm just gonna put the nut, it's like a battery nut. I'm just gonna put that in the vise and just crank this bolt through it. And hopefully it creates some threads. And then I can put it back into the battery terminal and then we'll be all set. We can tighten it down properly. Fixing problems, yeah! This also might be the reason why this sled was kind of running like crap last night. It would just kind of stall out. A lot of machines that need the battery connected even though they're already running. So in instances like that, if you don't have a nice connection, it's no surprise that things can go haywire! I'm just gonna crank up the snowmobile, try turning on the hand warmers both high and low, and see which ones work. As far as I know, the right worked both times, but maybe the left is just working one or the other. So it might be the switch, or it could just be the fact that the hand warmer shot. I looked up on a forum and there are like four other people that have had the same exact problem. And as far as I could see, it looks like they had to replace the actual hand warmer. Also, another problem I was having was with the idle. I bought expensive boots to keep my feet warm. Now I want to make sure these hand warmers work to keep my hands warm. There's a reason why I wanted to save that test for last. And that's because it's extremely smoky in here. And I don't really want to breathe this stuff in all night. What I have found out is both up high and low, I don't know which is what. I had to put my mouth on the hand warmer because my fingers have lost feeling in them. So I couldn't really tell what was warm, what was cold. And so I had to use my mouth. <laughs> this side is not working though. Well, machine freaks, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to stay tuned for tomorrow. We might get into this a little bit more. I definitely want to figure out this handlebar situation, but I don't want to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. Before I wrap up this vlog, I have one question for you guys. So this snow right here, I don't heat my garage when I'm not working in it. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Do you think this snow will be here tomorrow? Do you think some of it will be here? All of it will be here? Let me know. This will be interesting. Leave them in the comment section. You've got mail. Why, yes, I do. This is interesting.
Oh my god. I'm not even gonna open it yet, but can you see what that name says? Wow. I'm like, I'm nervous. This is crazy. It's actually a snap-on torque wrench, which is amazing because these things are very, very expensive. Wow. I haven't even opened up his letter yet. I'm just, like, this only looks like I looked at it for like 10 seconds, but I've actually looked at it for like 16 minutes. To Dalton, may your nuts stay secure. Regards, Bronco Carl 92. Hi Dalton, I am officially a 3D Machines addict. I am very glad to hear that. Looking forward to each new episode. Now, although I am a Cummins owner, oh, see I own a Duramax. They're a competitor when it comes to the diesel market. I have a soft spot for all diesel trucks and the Duramax is my second favorite. I don't like to see anyone have issues that cause breakdowns and possible chance for personal injury. So you can imagine how I felt when you lost your left rear wheel. Oh yeah, it sucked. So you don't have this happen again, I am sending you my half inch drive snap-on torque wrench, which you can keep in your truck and keep an eye on your nuts. When it comes to this wrench and my nuts, I will be very careful. Keep the episodes coming. Regards, Bronco Carl 92 on YouTube. And his real name is Carl. Carl, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Awesome! I officially own a snap-on torque wrench. Let me just say that you guys are excellent packagers. I think that's the word. He must dig the Duramax too. Dear Dalton, my name is Mason Johnson. I am from Tonawanda, Pennsylvania. I sent you this Chevrolet emblem to stick on your friend's cars or trucks that don't like Chevys. Mason also mentions that he was in Florida while I was down in Florida. It's a magnet. Thanks a lot for the bow tie, Mason. Looks good. Looks real classy. That was an excellent fan mail. As they all are. There's nothing but facts, Jack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you, if you feel like sending something to me and you want to share the fame, my P.O. box is in the description. It'll go to the box. I'll bring it here and we'll open it together. Enjoy your day, you guys. See you later. See you tomorrow. You're kidding. A little punk tries to throw me off a train. We get into a fight and he falls off. Cops ask me why I did a thing like that. I tell them why. For three hours, I tell them why. They don't believe me.